Greetings. Welcome to Legacy of Worlds. I am Tome Keeper Devon, and I just want to take some time to thank those who make this show possible. Hero Forge, WizKids, KP11 Studios, Foam Brain Games, and of course, Lynn Vander themselves. But now, the adventure and the stories unfold. Passing through the gate, you enter into a familiar yet alien landscape far beneath you. The colorful environment with rippling prismatic contours sprawls out every which way, the land itself seemingly fluid and cloudy. Uh, Lowell would know this to be the dream world. Uh, Merricks, uh, you have been here once oh, yeah, in your great. lifetime. Loved it. Uh, so you do have that, it, there is that familiar sensation, but... It is not as dreamlike as it normally would be, where it sort of feels like you're uh, watching everything happen from far, from far away, sort of out of body. Uh, there's this kind of tanginess to the air, this uh, this this film that seems to be clinging to you, and, and this kind of thickness that is difficult to maneuver. It you can feel air as you kind of move around, but expanded out beneath your feet and all around you. Far down and across is an incomprehensible mesh of ethereal strands cascading every which way across the sky. The gossamer ground far below you is springy, and even the slightest movement from things down below ripples all throughout the interlocking strands below and above. Directly ahead of you is a dense network of webbing that teems with tiny, silvery sapphire arachnids. The farther ahead, the webs grow thicker, and all trace of light begins to vanish. Home oh, sweet home. This is very <clears throat> strange, Ground. Okay, it's not a great. No. <laughs> I was say, so Firebolt is not advised, or...? I'm not sure yet what I feel about this. Uh, you said it felt different. Felt different. I mean, um, has Lowhold been into the veil before? Yes, multiple times. Yes, I figured as much. Uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's normally like previous a, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's normally dreamlike, but this is. Uh, oh, in fact, this reminds you a lot of about twenty years ago when there was the Moonfire conflagration, and you were uh, You're sent welcome. in. And you were sent into the veil to deal with. The overlapping of Serpentica, the, the hordes from the moons engaging and trying to pierce their way through the veil. It reminds you a lot of that situation as the webbing is supposed to have this silvery gossamer, which you can see, but 
as you get further up, it, it darkens, and and like I and I specified, the the, the it gets thicker and and more um, interwoven and uh, weave basket like, and that is not normal. The, this is the web of time. This is part of the construct that grants you your powers of chronomancy. You draw it from this place. This is the physical representation. So, is so, it being rewritten, or is it being like? Jumbled, like like as if someone took properly cabled it coils is, and, and the cords and just put them in a bag and shook them up. That's kind of what seems to be the case. Like, yes. but it's like distressed. How, how close and far are these these strands? Are they far away from us, or are they? Uh, yeah, they're 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 spread out. So it's it's like a spider web, but yep. it's three dimensional. So it's not just like a flat plane. It's just strands going all over the place. You sure. know, like where's like the, the where's the closest strand? Is my question. Uh, it depends. You can you can kind of get one that's about five feet away, but there's one that's ten feet away over right. there, and it, I mean. You know, you know what um, playgrounds when the kids they play on those those big like web like structures? It's kind of like that where it's just all over the place. Just just you know, same for the record, Merrick's is immediately pulling out you know some stuff, essentially doing detect magic. I'll make an arcana. You know, I'm just basically like, ooh, this is fascinating. That's like solidified time or something like you know. Yeah. So I'm just going to be having a little sure. field day over here. Like, oh, what happens if you poke at it with a mage hand? Does it move? You said you had uh, true sight, right? Uh, I don't have true sight. I have invisibility and ethereal. I would say recommend using the ethereal. Yeah, I'm, well, it's just on. I just see ethereal. So yeah, that's a good question. Do I see anything invisible or ethereal? Uh, the whole place seems to be giving up that ethereal vibe to you. Um, the the strands are physical and yet also uh, spectral, ethereal as well. There there is this sense of that. Um, you you definitely know you're not on the material plane. This is definitely some sort of extra planar material. It reminds you a lot of stuff that you would see on the ethereal plane. But there's there's actual tactileness to it, similar to something you'd see like maybe in the in the lands of fairy or Feywild. Um, but then the that gloom up ahead, the gloom up ahead, and the corruption spreading out from it reminds you a little bit more like the Shadowfell, but even darker and more twisted. Something that I think Melf. We right. recognize as an abyssal taint. That makes sense. Uh, just <clears throat> again, you know, I was doing it in part on general scientific curiosity, but actually getting practical facts between seeing invisible, seeing ethereal, the, detecting magic, and I got a forty-one arcana yes. check. Like any so sort of, you would you, you could at least ascertain that forty-one with, with the with this being the web of time. Yeah. These strands, each strand represents a moment, an epoch. Yes. And so if, for example, you were to take a sword and slice through that, it would damage the fabric of time on this world. And once or twice, you you know, that could probably be repaired. But if whole sorts of it began to cave away, you could very well rewrite all of the world or blink it out of existence, which would include you. Yeah, it, it, do that. yeah in, in fairness, you know, I would say I'm probably saying this sort of thing. I'm like, wait a second, I've been slipped by time. Why, if you took us... Okay, no, let's not do it, but... Mm -hmm. I would say you can also see just energy radiating off of these webs, and they kind of flow out in different directions, but where Loholt is standing, it flows into him. Okay, I'm trying to find the part where we met, just to... No, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> so just to slice that little whole thing. Which one is it? He severs it. <laughs> when you say it's like a kid's playground, is is there enough space between these strands that we can move through them with care without destroying them. Yes. Like, we don't have to carve yeah. uh, machetes. We're not shattering time. It, as we yeah, it, yeah. Be, I do. It will be awkward, <laughs> and it will require some... No. How are we moving? Uh, are we floating? Flying? Currently, you're just standing on the this, this spongy webbing, kind of bobbing a little bit from your uh, momentum. Mm, interesting. So I don't, I don't think I'm just going to hover, for lack of a better term. Um, seems fair. Yeah. You want to boom? Yes, please. I, you know, again, might need that back at some point, but here, fine, here, until, until I've got a better, uh, more important use for it. Uh, I don't really have a solution here. I don't think Banco is the, the correct no. solution. A large winged horse to try and get through all this intricacy. I can hold one other person with well, light. So you go over there and we'll, all right. we'll come. Hang on to you, Elminster. Okay. Please just lick Aww. arms. And you uh, can smoke off the pipe, if, too. If there is any way to... Uh, 
to grab just like again a drop or a fragment like i'm not gonna cut a stream very well, like quickly. a strand but if there's like a piece that's broken or you know i mean something I, i'd love to try and isolate that in a and you know future so future study do you have uh what kind of uh, material do you have that you would like to sever uh i have a little bit of adamantine i'll uh, probably uh, do it you know so so it's just little like st- yeah you get this little strand of dust because if i could put time in a bottle <laughs> oh why would me the first so thing that i'd like to money. do uh yeah <laughs> is a marketing campaign that would oh that is, yes mm-hmm. anyhow uh, come back to that later. um and that's a hate spell you, right Wolf, i would say that uh it definitely does feel time warpy here right now i remember doing the time warp Yeah, I guess should do it again. Um, <laughs> we don't have a particular direction. Like, there's no like, except for the well, abyss. I want to see yeah. the. Well, that the, was going to be my next question. Spot. Yes. Mm-hmm. How we you, time is in flux in everything here, and what about uh, the area? How how big and vast does this look? Uh, if you look down, you can see rolling fields of yarn with woolly clouds and lightning arcing between them. And you can see sheep bouncing across the woolly terrain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, right. Uh, and, and don't you, count them. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, count them. Yeah. Do not count them. <laughs> and if you were to look up, you can see the webbing uh, expanding above you. But if you just kind of climb up a little bit to get a better view what you can see is up ahead in that dark patch there's just this um, mass of webbing uh, enclosing itself around this globe of darkness and around it you can see spiders crawling across and weaving in and out and through the different webbing but these these spiders look like at one point they might have been diaphanous and sapphire and uh, and silvery but they have taken on a darker tone they have a more um menacing look you can see acid kind of dripping from their mouths okay. a bit. and they are in full on conflict with creatures uh of uh red and purple skins and bearded tentacles with barbs and halberds and armor running forward and I'm not a defender. Those things that uh, are normally here these tentacled creatures yes. with armor? No, no. no so no. that probably means I can safely assume even without using locate. <laughs> That yes. the problem that say, is where it is. Like if I'm looking out at everything, basically, well, so I'm looking were, at everything. What is different? That's the different. De- yeah, place. if you were to describe these creatures uh, to uh, Melf and Elmister, they could explain to you those are uh, the legions of Beatsor, the, the the nine hells, uh, and they seem to be combating with the spiders, which would match up with what Crimeris had told you previously. Yeah, right. So, uh, but I but I would say that the about. spiders. Loholt could tell you are normally the caretakers of this web. If something does, for example, if somebody does come and just snip some of the webbing, they would come and repair it and they would also defend the web to stop that kind of thing from happening and maintain it. Uh but it seems like they have been corrupted and twisted. And so two forms of evil fighting against each other. Yes. An enemy if my enemy is my friend. What is our, do we know what our card is here? Yes. We found our the same, card the here card well. is the uh fates okay so that makes sense i i'm just randomly thinking that in previous instances mm. two out of three what we dealt with were extra planar forces coming in search of the card yeah like they might be fighting over the card or at least over the range in the area in which it is in so rather than saying one of them already has it the hellish creatures may be fighting right, spiders right. to take away but the spiders are also corrupt So something has corrupted the spiders. Sure. I mean, it could be moving we the card. know that yeah. the card is mm-hmm. probably there. Okay. Yeah. Before we start going in. <laughs> yeah. How oh, are we going in? I thought how do we get out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the gate is closed behind you. Mm-hmm. So am I going to have to cast this special spell again? Uh, you could plane shift. Uh, you mm-hmm. could gate. Uh, and those would be your two, only two ways out. Other than the ethereal the spell, you could also use that. You could also use the uh, sigil. sigil. You could also sigil, sigil. sigil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The sigil sigil may be the way to go. But well, no, because because we we still need to go to another place here. Perhaps there are no, repairs to the orrery again. Yeah. But perhaps there are repairs to the orrery in such a way that if we do go back to sigil after this briefly. Okay. We could see if there's more information. Hmm. Let's take care of this card first and then decide. So, 
these spiders, Lothos. Yes, I... They are normally the caretakers, you say. So, do if they are corrupted, do we want to spare them to try to put them back? Or do we just take Media care spot. of what we need to take care of? Because if we need... If there aren't... If we kill them... But do I see the normal normal spiders anywhere? No. So if we kill the spiders by accident, then there are no caretakers. That Correct. could be devastating. We need to kill the corrupting point. Restore them. So, so that's a don't question. Don't kill the spiders. So seems to me, like, is there necessarily a reason we need to engage? You know, this battle is going on. It has presumably been going on for a little while. It seems like we should circumvent it and try and find the source. Try to sneak yes. in. Okay, then I will do the locate object just just yeah. to get a mm-hmm. pinpoint. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so um, I will, you know focus on you know what i'm going to do even more so i'm going to focus on the cards that we have already received now that i can hold them in my hand mm-hmm. and really try to get like a, an exact pinpointed location it them. is within the depths of the globe of darkness woven in webbing mm. of course okay why should it be any place to see? Um, a moment there are your feet <laughs> a moment the cards we already have they all have a, a light power you can use with mm-hmm. declaring. Mm-hmm. What are those powers again? So we can uh, turn a creature to stone, We, which uh, is good, but I don't think that we should do that. We can contact something from another, or somebody from another plane. Mm-hmm. And as Stinky will say, disintegrate! Mm-hmm. Yeah, phone a friend, I call him. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. So here's the thing. I don't think we should use these powers except under extreme duress mm-hmm. because if by using the power it drains these cards of the magic, mm-hmm. we won't be able to discern. I won't be able to do the the ritual mm-hmm. that I was sent here or to Zickle for mm-hmm. originally. Mm-hmm. Um, so we need to be careful. Okay. Of course, desperate measures need to be taken. Okay. The invisibility trick may not work here, considering that most of the spiders have the ability to see those things. That makes sense. So we're going to have to use an old-fashioned way to get in. When we say that it's uh, it's surrounded by webbing, is that webbing the strains of time? Yes, like, will so, we as I said, they were, history if we they were effectively, it? as, as Loholt had put earlier, they were sort of like nice and evenly spaced, and then someone came and just <laughs> clumped them all together. Okay, but but basically, like, you know, we don't want to use Pass Wall and accidentally wipe out the Eltharian Empire. <laughs> would, uh, would it be considered I mean, a wall? Because hmm? a wall... Does Wait. it say a wall of stone, or a wall of earth, or does it say... No, just as a wall, right? You can pass through, right? So, and I think once, a pass, once you negate Pass Wall, doesn't it go back to... That's a good point. It might, actually. So, that may be a way for us to do that. Or we have to... I, mean, that, I get to use the Pass Wall twice? I don't yeah. think Pass Wall actually destroys the wall. Well, we just let we, you walk through. Do we need to uh, it makes a hole, but it may, it may do it temporarily. Like you you could said. potentially, like, pry apart and, like, yeah. you know, pull so your way... like a wicker through. basket that was yeah. blocking our bath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you'd have to, like, kind of pry the strands apart try to make an opening for you, which you could do mm-hmm. uh, delicately, right. but... Dimension you know. door, maybe. Uh, you are absolutely correct. Okay. So just going on, a passage appears of your a point of your choice that you can see lasts for the duration, which is one hour. Uh, it can be 20 feet deep, creates no instability in the structure surrounding it. When it disappears, uh, everything goes back to normal. So that's a start. I mean, it's yeah. only 20 feet. Although you know, we don't pass it yeah. a couple times, but oh, yeah, um, good. okay, you know, so it's it's five by eight by twenty. Okay, so um, can, yeah. That... So if, if if this is a ball of yarn, right, we're screwed. If it's an orange, right, then right. Hey, right. we got some some time. But twenty feet deep, we got to be right there. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just depends. Is it, it, it this could is it a be crust? A is it a crust around something, or is it literally a ball of yarn? Right, right. right. And as I said, if it's ball of yarn, we're gonna have to we're gonna yeah. have to do the 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 squeezy, yeah. you know, fun squeezy. Then process. we just use a jigsaw. I am hoping as we go through this, we're gonna see like that, moments yeah, from the kid's right. childhood, or you know, something like that. The shell would make more sense if there's something inside, yeah. because then it would be too condensed for anything else. So. All right. Well, I we could use a wish, but I don't want to blow that right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could use a wish just to get the card and get the heck You out. could just <laughs> use a wish. Well, I would wonder if, if it, an artifact level item might might be unusually resistant to even reality. Oh, I wasn't, magics. I wasn't going to cast a wish on the card. I, got, I was going to just affect everything around it. No, no, no. You, know. fair enough, fair enough. you but, could wish us to the card. 
That could and be there we'd be in tangles of webbing. Yes, yes, yes. We're like, I know. You're stuck in the middle I mean, of some uh, sort of yeah. stu- substance that we don't want to be stuck in. Because can I? Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm just curious. You can. Just talking about Anytime. the time. Talking about the physics of of this wish. Yeah. You know, because I find it fascinating, and just to yes. know what you gentlemen are mm. capable of. Yes. Well, as I understand, it's a trivial matter for this to duplicate the effects of an existing spell, so it would essentially be teleport. Uh, but it's if you try and go beyond that, it yeah. sounded like there were pretty severe yes. uh, strain and drain on yourself. Like, as I recall, you sort of saying, oh, you'd be incredibly weak, and channeling additional arcane power would, would cause you damage. So that's what I'd hate to say, is if because we don't know the location uh it seems like that would be a push beyond the standard teleport yep. spell and i think you suddenly dropping dead if you need to cast a, a disintegrate would be a shame mm-hmm. yeah so i think last resort is all these on. these spiders they they're sentient they usually are um they're the, the way the veil spiders work. what type of sentience like would it be would they be moderately intelligent, like monstrously intelligent? Are they because they're repairing? This, like they're are they dronish? Like they they yes and no. Um, they usually have a brood mother, um, and they Aww. follow their brood mother, uh, which means that sometimes if a brood mother happens to go a little off the beaten path, the entire brood has to be dealt with. But um, uh, they do have like they they are capable of, of if you were able to speak to them they would be able to speak back to you as long as you, they, they have the ability to do so uh, and they do have a semblance of intelligence I would say uh, there are uh, towards the sentient level between non sentience and sentient but I wouldn't I wouldn't they say that they're uh, well they are also beings of the veil which are notoriously resilient to that sort of thing but not impossible um, there was a story. I think Loholt would have heard at one point of uh, uh, a demonic invader who managed to gesh a brood mother and turn an entire clutch of veil spiders to work for them and then trying to unweave the web to open it up for Serpentica at one point. Yeah. So, okay. they can, yeah. so they can be charmed. Yeah. I will. I have a suggestion. Charm monster? Well, yes. Uh, well, suggestion. And here's okay. one of the ways to do this <clears throat> Are there pockets of spiders that are repairing and not in combat? If you look at the directly around the 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 the, the pulsating, arithmetically uh, kind of moving, squirmy uh, orb of webbing surrounded in dark, surrounded darkness, uh, you can see there are occasionally a spider will kind of like pull itself and crawl out, and they do appear to be gathering up the strands and pulling them into that ball as if they're sort of creating. So they're commanded to try and take the whole time and mess up with them. Yeah, um, and those are the ones that are not directly engaging with forces. So they are listening to a, a brood mother's command at this point. It would appear to be that way. Uh, so- you can also see um, that in the in the armies that are assaulting these these spiders, uh, they are cutting down the spiders, but those spiders are then being replaced by more coming either from the orb or from elsewhere on the webbings. Um, and there definitely does appear to be a bit of a stalemate going back and forth. Uh, you do see uh, there appears to be a commander of the devilish forces as well, though, uh, riding atop a flaming skeletal-like horse of, of black, with, with similar to what you saw in Sigil. We are very lucky. Um, a woman uh, with uh, molten streaks down her face, very ashen and pale, and flowing red hair with flickering flames and blackened armor as she just stares out and barks orders at the, uh, the, the, the infernal legions attacking the spiders. So in an ideal situation, yeah, did you mm. uh, It seems like going back to our what is going on here, given the focus on the orb, it seems like what we could imagine is a brood mother, assuming you've explained this to us, a brood mother yes, either acquired the card or has been corrupted by its influence and is trying to keep it from, you know, from uh, affecting the rest of the week. But okay. it does sound like in an ideal world, perhaps if we remove the card, maybe the brood mother, but you know, it might, it might, uh, that might restore some order. Yeah. 
do you want to try and go talk to the redhead over there? Or, like, is there any point in talking to the devils? Or... Should... Uh, no. We should okay. slay them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, I'm not saying I think that... I don't really get the enemy of our enemy. I think that if we fix yeah. the... If we take the card, then hopefully the spiders are our friends again. Right. And, so and here's, we here's, all here's the pull, I think. It, I think that the demons... But the demons are devils, because, Devil, I mean, geez. one people like a contract and the others don't. So, I mean, I at least like knowing what we're dealing you, with. You would recognize these as the, the bet the, the They are the devils. Yes. Although, to an Amarian, yeah. everything not from your world is a bet. So basically a demon. They, sure, they're basically elves. They're ostensibly Here's the thing. In order if we that. attack the devils, the demons, the, if we attack them, then the spiders maybe, even though they are corrupted now, will see us as allies either way, and we don't have to fight them at all. Based on the information earlier, Chimera said that the spiders were corrupted by the Lunar Horde. Corrupted by something that was reminiscent of the Lunar Horde, but also these these devils so are being led alongside Lunar Hordes as the invaders as well. So but the Chimeras was spiders. Yeah, Chimeras was just confused. So this is what I'm confused about. about. Why are the spiders corrupted and pulling no, no. balls of, of time together? I think that's obvious. There's a they're second. Corrupted they're, by the card. they're corrupted the by the card. card. So the card we're looking for is the card of fate. Uh, one can assume strands, you know, I mean, it is a card that is mm -hmm. essentially similar to what's going on. Oh. So it seems like when you drop it in here, that makes sense that that would be a, a disturbance yeah. in the natural order. Right. So if the Broodmother isn't even like corrupted evil but it's just messed up her programming so she's yeah. like this must be isolated and she is trying yeah. to hide it or something what, like that you know so much about the cards uh, well you know i mean I am, perhaps we should uh, study together yeah. oh I, I think what you're doing is fascinating so what if we I'd get one, one of these the spiders to bring us to the moon month i love it i do not even spell to charm it i do okay. okay so i will i will make my way over Lord Emberfang. We don't want to take out the devils first. There's how many devils are there? A good number, a small, a small squadron. Here's I the would thing, say. and I think if we attack them, we destroy. We have damage the the strands, and, oh. and this would be yeah. Like this is not a place to drop a meteor swarm. We want to wipe out. In, no, you just don't. Mending, 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 oh. mending. <laughs> there okay, is both. good point, actually. I like five, mending. Five years later, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody appreciates mending. I love it. Oh, it is to to I love mending. Melfa said, oh, bread and butter. The, we could, actually, if we do liberate the card, the spiders will return to normal. Mm -hmm. That's what we hope. Instead of wasting their time gathering this ball of yarn, they will instead maybe join us in attacking the devils. Or yeah, be able to you definitely them. can tell that if all of the spiders were to throw their force, it would probably be much more efficient. It's just that they are mostly just holding them off while they gather up what they're mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. I mean, so, the, the point to me is that the spiders don't seem like they are evil. They are trying to contain or protect something yeah. that is thrown off. Like I said, it's not that I work with things that are programmed, but, you know, I, <laughs> I, I do. Uh, and it just seems like their programming has been thrown off. I'm not saying it's aliens. <laughs> I, turn to, it's I turn to a spider. I, I will approach a spider. How does it react when it sees me? Oh, what kind of spider is it? Are you going for a big spider, a bulbous spider, or a more normal-looking spider? A spider tank with a face on it? What's the uh, spider tank with a face on it? <laughs> yeah. What's the, uh, what is the, uh, the one that's burrowing through and... The, the ones that are effectively doing work? Is that what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. A weak-minded fool. The, a weak-minded fool who suscept my Jedi mind tricks. Good. Okay, <laughs> that would be one of the worst. In fact, if I can get multiples in my, Are you attempting to sneak up to it or just approach? Not the spiders <laughs> you're looking. <for>. Okay, <laughs> I want them to notice me. I want as many of those bulbous working spiders to notice me as possible. It feels insulting. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not their fault. Yes. Uh, they do begin to notice you, and um, you the can see they do. Okay. The moment they notice me, I'll hold out Amber Fang. My eyes will like shine with a blast of amber, and it'll cast mass suggestion on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is that a wisdom saving? It is charisma. Charisma. It's going, because it's through Amber Fang. You use uh, like charisma saving. Uh, charisma saving. Do you hear me now, spiders of time? Lead us. The command. The suggestion is, lead us to your brood mother. Take us to your leader. Take us, we're take us to your <laughs> leader. Because we don't know it's a brood mother. I mean, I'm just saying it could hey, be an so, alien so force. Communically, it's like, like brood mother. Take us to your brood and Rex head leader. Yeah, right <laughs> uh, so I mean, I it's a classic for a reason. Highest save was a 16. 
Oh, they all fail. Okay. Only one is what you need to do. You have four spiders that just... Do they speak his language? Um, they do not respond in voice. These are drones, so they right. just kind of do the work. But they do... Omniglot from the sword. I can speak and read yeah. all languages as well. They, yeah. they just don't speak is the okay. problem. Right. They, 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 these, like I said, these are drones. It's more... So, so then it's more like... <laughs> they can they they can understand you. Yes, they just sure. don't have the ability to speak to you. So I'll turn back to the party. Let's go. They begin to maneuver and adjust strands, carefully moving them around to effectively make a nice pathway for you. I mean, I'm gonna oh yeah, I'm gonna throw on invisibility just because why not? I mean, I think there's an excellent chance mm-hmm. that Shiny's right that it's it's not gonna do anything. But right. why sure. why not? Why not? Throw okay. it on? Okay. <laughs> she came up with it. So I As the same. You got As shiny. Oh, you came up with it. You I came up with it. Shiny? Oh, you're I shiny. All right. Oh, I I heard somebody call him shiny, and I thought, oh, that's his name. Yeah, that's shiny. You know, yeah. shiny. As the, uh, the the spiders begin to maneuver the webbing and and pull things aside, they uh, be, they they make their they, they finally reach the large uh, spherical webbing ball, and they pull aside some of the strands, and in the darkness beyond, those of you with excellent hearing over the din of uh, devils and spiders and the commanding of the woman on the horse, you can just hear a voice emanate from within. Queen of spiders, I beseech you to strike to destroy these foes. See, this was the other thing I was suggesting, which we'll find out, is, is again, like I said, we've had extra planar entities, so it's taking the role of a brood mother that doesn't mean it necessarily I don't care, is a brood mother. Is this sloth? Yeah. I assume it's a priest oh, or something right. like that, but oh, all right. I mean, it's the same way we had the priest. Don't make writer. me kill my, my, my girl. Yeah, but we had a priest of uh, a priest of Thera's. Yeah, she's doom, on the I list. Well, there. you had a Aeon Sage of Maria of Thera's doom. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So, uh, so we're we're getting some peanut butter in our in yeah. our you know, jelly. Jelly. No, <laughs> no, wait, that, that would be totally different. <laughs> we're getting some peanut butter yeah. in our peanut butter. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyhow, um, how do we want to react here, folk? Do you want to suspend us or something? Oh, is this is this a fight that's happening? All of a sudden? I mean, it's opened up. Um, here it's it's happening. Here. Yeah, yeah. There's a baddie right up there. It seems like this is not a good guy. Just saying. My question is: Are we sitting and having a casual conversation here? Yeah, I'm going. Or are you gonna? I'm okay, gonna, well, I mean, going. he's gonna jump if you yeah. don't do something. Oh, he can jump. Okay. All right. I'm, just, I'm jumping. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, be careful strand. of the webbing. Oh, snap! Okay, yes. I'm gonna fly and be invisible if that matters at all. And I'm guiding in on that voice because that is an abomination. The demon queen of spiders and the the t- and twisted the good elven folk. As, as Melfi's logo goes, well, I assume it's another bad person. I'll follow. <laughs> for the for the record, again, we're both on brooms and uh, sky staffs. Yeah, uh, I was yeah sky staffs and and I was invisible. So okay. if I go through the wall, is it big enough for the for the horse for the Pegasus? No, no. No, but if I go through it, then can I use it? Oh, it, I mean, the, the sphere is the definitely sphere. like a large enough yeah. size. Yeah, Once okay. I go through the strands and I'm clear of any debris, I will <laughs> summon Banquo so that I can stay mobile with these guys. Oh, okay. And how is Elminster approaching? Because they're all flying. Mm-hmm. I'm flying with the pipe. Very good. Just Yeah, I'm just holding it at the moment. Um, and, and flying, I'm debating whether or not to pull up Silver Fire, but probably not quite. Okay, uh, so I guess Melf is in the lead. I guess is Melf is just Looks that charged ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, as you make your way into this uh, sphere of darkness, you are completely enveloped. Okay. In what? In, in darkness. darkness. Time for the daylight spell. Okay. Now, just I'm curious, and and this is darkness that overwhelms dark vision. That's correct. Yeah. So even even with my ember blazes, that's correct. It's just swallowed. Oh in the my. darkness. Um, this is new. Do not have true sight, though. Uh, how loud is, is Melf making like a war cry when you do this? Or are you just... No, no, I'm trying to scout it out first. And see okay, yeah. give me a stealth check. Okay. You'll get the war cry mainly probably from me. Bob, but the mainly just like, because as soon as he moves in there, I'm trying to, we're trying to determine if he's seen or not. Yeah. Because you are invisible, right? Invisible. Yeah. Uh, that would be a cocked eye. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> wow, <laughs> sloppy dice today, folks. Sloppy dice. That's a twelve plus my whopping stealth of four. That'd be a sixteen. Any bonus for being invisible? Don't know. Or fun. I'll give you advantage for being invisible. Oh, okay. not much. Let's try that. Uh, fifteen plus four is a nineteen. 
Okay. Um, but as you do enter in, uh, you do hear the intruders have made it. There's a breach. Defend. Okay. And you hear the sounds of lots of legs skittering. Well, if I can't, if I can't see, then I think I'm gonna have to cast sunbeam. Okay. We will roll initially. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So uh, it looks like everyone's gonna get hit with my. Uh, or yeah, you're all kind of moving up the same so, time. At least you are 18 plus all of these modifiers. Nice. 25. Now, if you are 19 with all the modifiers. Nice. That's a 30. 10 million. Uh, you, <laughs> you have 11 uh, Merrick's with all the modifiers. 19. 17 for Elminster. Oh, and then modifiers. Plus yeah, modifiers. The modifiers. Plus yeah. 7 plus whatever your actual additional modifiers yeah. are. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And finally, I come in at a lowly 18. Uh, what was uh, what was Elminster's total? So like plus five, plus five, okay. plus seven, plus the roll. Uh, so twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Twenty nine. Who's number five? Oh, the guy okay. who actually has the aura. Yeah, it's fine. Best for, yeah. <laughs> best for last. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with a thirty, we're starting off with Melf. All right. So I'm um, surrounded by darkness. I'm thinking it's time to use a spell of sun sunbeam to blast away this darkness. And but then I remember. We're surrounded by the weave, and I'll be potentially destroying hundreds of thousands of lives and just destroying destiny. So I will instead fish into my pouch and pull out my gem of seeing ah. and put it on so I can see and use a bonus action to go to uh, blade singing, my blade song, uh, and see what's in front of me. So you like, you like strap this onto your. Yes, it's head. like a. It's a leather uh, thing. So it's yeah, a, like a leather thong monoc- with a monocular yeah, okay. vision. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so, does that mean you can see perfectly out of one eye, but the other eye it's pitch black? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so essentially, you just have to close one eye. It's like a reverse eye patch. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this case. Uh, so yes, uh, then you bring the gem of seeing up, and you activate its power to be able to immediately see uh, all around you. So if we want to, maybe just pull off the. Uh, I'm sure. So you can see this. Oh, I knocked a couple over. over. That's okay. Yes, so uh, surrounded on all sides is the pulsating webbing of the ethereal strands uh, continuing their ephemeral way around, kind of mixing in and out of existence, kind of uh, silvery strands, but there are a multitude of spiders, all of them similarly corrupt looking as the ones that you saw on the outside, as well as a couple of uh, etcher caps, uh, as you recognize uh, as well. I fought those before. And at the far back, uh, channeling uh, and, and, mm-hmm. and preening and, gaze- and, and, and kind of commanding them is an individual with long white hair, uh, the holy symbol of Lolf emblazoned, uh, pointy ears, and uh, the ash ash complexion, yes. Yes. Uh, This definitely appears to be a drow. And it's a drum. Pretty and nice this this looks like a matron mother. Uh, it's kind of weird to see uh, to see Drow working with spiders. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, a strange thing. Do yeah. these spiders look different from the spiders outside? They look exactly the same. Like they're just as corrupt, corrupt, and they have the same uh, anatomy. And, and so these are corrupted spiders of this place. That's right. Not spiders brought with. That's right. Got it. What about the other caps? Are they so similarly? Like, similarly. So they've they've manufactured they, they, edder caps. From... The, the edder caps have the same type of appearance as what the veil spiders look like right, as well, okay. as if they were crafted from the same sure. type of material. So we can assume that we should not kill them. Well, they said they wiped out corrupted. Of the war. Yeah, they said they wiped out corrupted hordes before, broods before. Yeah. So I mean, it, it, it is it is a a a somber and destructive task, but sometimes necessary. I'll try and make some of them run away. How high is the uh, ceiling for like a great How much? Uh, this, this is, I would say this is a this is a forty foot. A forty. Like this okay. is a nice size sphere. Okay. So if I could, and I would, it is uh, spherical. So the forty feet would be at the the. Sure. At the second. If I can elevate 10, 10 or fifteen feet off the ground, I'll do so. Sure. Uh, and maybe just move forward to to point here, just just in case. Okay. And that's that's You're just gonna kind of blade yeah. song into defensive position. Yeah. Okay. Do you shout anything about what you've seen? Because technically, no one oh, else yeah, knows you it's there. You can't see anything. Uh, yes. In which case, I will say there are spiders and etta caps uh, in front of us, as well as a foul drow priestess. Okay. Does anyone say 
drow? What's that? What the? I, we have drow. They're just, you know, not spidery drow. But Elvis you know them. The war drow. With the 29, you are up next. Mm-hmm. Now, you also can't see it. Unless you have true sight. Mm-hmm. So I assume you're going to enter into the, the sphere. Right? Like you're entering into the sphere. Mm. Or are you staying outside of the sphere? I was staying outside and casting Dispel Magic into it. I'd be thinking about it myself. I'm curious to see what happens. Mm. At what level would you like to cast Dispel Magic? This is DM poker, by the way. The, yeah, is like, yeah. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, the, the I basic, see your spell and I raise you a level. The basic would be third level, mm-hmm. uh, but if you wanted, you could increase that to try and be a more a slightly more powerful to seventh. Seventh? All right, okay. <laughs> Uh, the seventh level dispel magic rockets its way as the darkness is dispelled. Oh, because uh, it was a spell. Yes. Uh, All right. Cast it by a drum, hmm. as they do. Okay. Um, at which point, the uh, matron mother you can all now see looks and says, "Is that Elminster?" <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. I'll use my master magic. So as a bonus action, I can now. Has to spell. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and just just waiting for it. And it will drop meters for me. <laughs> don't and Amaria was don't, never don't, seen just, again. <laughs> we can't do that here. Bad. Dever probably did this wisely. He's like, oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, and once he does that, it will turn out when we get out of here. Listen, that hey, you know, Republic, you know, I, you know, I will not stop him from casting. Hey, you know what's good? Well, if we did this, <laughs> then for the new books we're doing, we can just rewrite the Start entire Mayan world. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Just re- yeah, just restart. Just square say, one. The yeah. Age of Elminster. <laughs> yeah, it's not Mar- um, I would Mar- say, uh, <laughs> on that front, uh, y- you might be witnessing a plan that is essentially that. Okay, weird question. Because yes. I honestly don't know the answer to this in Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Does psychic damage damage inanimate objects? Not usually. So, like, if you did a fireball made out of psychic damage... To, yeah, to, generally speaking, whenever an object is listed in the rules, it specifies it is immune to psychic damage. So, unless anyone ever forgot to put that there, right. theoretically, you could damage Just a chair. Just saying, you know, I, I admire your versatility of your thing here. Okay, so. Now that I can see, how high is the ceiling? Uh, the apex is 40 feet high. Okay. But it is a sphere. Reverse gravity. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Wow. Are you just showing off of that another 7th level spell? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, seven uh, level spell. Well, I do believe they there are kids a chance to grab the floor. Uh, as the ground floor. Floor. Like, get a few chance to grab the floor. So we'll see uh, okay. how this works. Yeah. Uh, let me see. We'll save your throw for them, right? That aren't somehow anchored. Uh, a creature can make a deck save to grab onto a fixed object it can reach, which would be a strand of webbing. So I will say, yeah. They are going to get a chance to at least grab something, although that is going to throw them for a loop. Uh, we will start with the drow. Yeah, the spider that hits web that's not with its little feetsies gets caught, doesn't it? I mean, re- yeah, realistically, this is the drow's problem. The spiders will probably just <laughs> yeah be fine because um, they'll just stick to the webbing. But the drow has no the drow has no such but ability. That's a good point. Do, so. The spider. It hits web with its back. Does it basically? Does it but screw? is this traditional web of sticky web, or is yeah. this time? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Okay. it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Okay. And we haven't hit it yet, and I kind of uh, think you don't want it. If it can trap see. us, it can trap them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That is a 16. That's no good. Saving right. versus something. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah. he's like, right. not here. So the matron mother just all of a sudden <laughs> flies away off the floor and up into the, the ceiling of the. Better game time goes, levitate this. <laughs> and she should hit. Uh, ceiling? I believe so, right? Because yeah, it's reverse it's gravity. Ground. Yeah. So now it's the ground. So she just fell 40 feet. Yep. Yeah. Cool. On her head. And, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now I'm going to. Sees concentration, she could fall back down. <laughs> I guess uh, that's a crick in the neck. All right, oh, so but I'm being gentle. I didn't start like, with 19 has prismatic or anything oh, for her to fall through. <laughs> it's it's being nice. It's dirty. I love this. Is that Elminster? And then suddenly, boom, yeah. boom. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yep, and, meanwhile, <laughs> and meanwhile, Merrick's is saying, 
Did you just do a seventh level spell and then you just drop concentration and you're just to prove a point? Yeah, so she can retain energy. Go on. <laughs> uh, taking uh, 38 bludgeoning damage from both combined uh, faults. And is prone. And is prone. <laughs> I mean, oh, the yeah. embarrassment factor. Of I love it. Has to be some bacon much right, in the morning. <laughs> 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 All the spiders down a couch like. <laughs> this is our champion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I assume that is going to be it for Elminster at this point. I mean, um, well, get... no, I'm going to I'm going to hit a hard blow from my, my... Well, I will say, if she's prone, she has a higher chance of dodging it. Yeah, yeah, she oh, does. Did you still hit the uh, okay. thing, even though you cast What's two spells? What's the range? Oh, no, but I, but I can now... As a... Yep. Just hit the pipe. Oh, uh, but that was a bonus, right? Yeah. You already used your bonus as a spell yeah. cast. To be able to cast a second spell. Yeah, your spell. first spell was daylight, right? Or no, spell. No, spell. No, spell. Spell. You did. Master of Magic yeah, bonus. To spell and I think, yeah. out of, I think yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, good point. It doesn't say it in the description, but yeah, you're yeah. right. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would, it would be a bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then it makes sense. How fast do I go in this room? Uh, it's like 50 feet, 40 feet, uh, okay. which is eight square. So, yeah, I'll tell you in a second. No, oh, well, I'll take care of the spiders and things. Okay. Uh, so we, we got, we got so fast I can go. Uh, fifty. So ten. Uh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. Mm-hmm. What you got? <laughs> um, I am going to. Uh, <laughs> oh, where is it? I am going to mm-hmm. burn. Um, my hidden ace flourish, my hidden ace, burn the card and guiding bolt her. Okay, okay. A little yep. disadvantage because she's prone. Okay. Thanks, Elminster. No yeah. problem. Would you like me to have her supine next time? <laughs> um, that is a 22. The, uh, disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, disadvantage. God. Oh. No, Five it left. is a six. Seventeen. Seventeen. It was twenty-two minus five. Uh, I can do math. Thank you very much. Six. That's a thirteen. That's right. A thirteen? No, it's a sixteen. A sixteen. She's prone. She is prone. Yeah, she's sixteen. Why is it disadvantage? Because she's prone. And it's a spell. That's ranged. It's dumb. ranged attack. I know. I ranged attack with disadvantage on against prone targets. Listen. Makes she's sense. harder. She's harder to hit. She's on the ground. Oh, no, you just shoot at the floor of fire. Oh, yeah, she just like one there. corner and grabs her. Uh, she rolls out of the way as it. She blasts. rolls out of the way. To, uh, the webbing. Oh, okay. There goes Loholt's grandmother. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> radiant moment. fire. A radiant bolts. Luckily, isn't too damaging to the webbing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then I need to do this again, but, but how do I do it? Roll. How far away am I? I'm too far. From her? Um, yeah, it's fine. I will instead just do what I was going to do without trying to get the advantage, which is I'm going to action surge to get all the way to her on sure. my broom. Mm-hmm. That will do. And then with my actual action, I'm going to smack her... <laughs> With my great axe, Oof. which is she's right in front so, of me, so okay. she's prone. Uh, yes, and I do want to say, as uh, as the bolt hits the webbing, there is sort of a ripple as the whole the whole thing begins to shake, and for a moment, you all see just a nice open area as the spiders. You see the matron mother in the center, uh, rise, raising her hands as the uh, the globe is being spun by multiple spiders all around you. Uh, and this is this is not a vision. This is what you are now witnessing happening. Um, and then, as you sail towards the matron mother, the whole thing kind of ripples once again, and you're back in the position that you were. Oh, you bring down some like hey, alternate where, reality. Where's the card? She's got the cards. Oh, no, no, with that card, uh, right? Well, yeah, the card. Yeah, yeah, the matron card. mother has the card. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I just like to know before yeah. I hit her again. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. why I, I was no using integration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a cosmetic thing. That was so, stop your attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Colorful, right? right? That's but, so she has it. She does. Okay, great. Anyway, so yes, you are now. So I'm her. going to try to. Uh, you will have advantage on the act. attack because she's pro. Good. So I'm going to do that, and um, I am, I am attempting to as I axe her, 
Um, <laughs> um, oh, do I want to do this first? I'm going to do my um, my special maneuver where um, I am going to do my menacing attack on her. Okay. Right? Um, Sweet number one. Question to turn. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> like, no, R, R, R. Like so, a uh, second... Second ah, hit, ah, second ah. attack. Two bits. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, this That's time. Uh, oh wait, did I miss? I forgot you what I add to it. I had an eight on the first time. Would a twenty? No, a twenty would have hit her. Oh yeah, twenty. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I lost the other stuff. It was like a five and an eight, I think it was. Um, it's not typically. So it was um, with the menacing attack. It would have been a um, a the. Fourteen plus the five was nineteen to hit nineteen damage. Okay. Second hit. So. Yeah. So second hit definitely hits her, the and then blood of that is three six uh, uh another uh ten. Another ten. Chop 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 chop, and then. Piece of wood. Because I've moved. Mm-hmm. How far did I move? Uh, twenty, about. No, all the way up. Uh, yeah. No, oh, I was trying to roll all the way back here. Am I? Oh yeah, I thought you said you wanted to move all the way up to her. Oh, no, I did. Not I... you. That is me. That is you. Yeah. No, I'm flying. So right. I just. But she can only go fifty. I can go fifty. Squares. No, I. I she did it. Actions yeah, so, oh, oh, so that's what I was saying. Ten oh. squares got you to about here, and then the other ten got you to here. Uh, what did you want to get? Up okay, I just want. Uh, I just wanted to be able to fly a little bit more oh, if okay. I can. Yeah. Um, well, but it's okay. Let's see. You were here. I, so if we can get an actu- actuality, we'll know how how what if I can do this fun plan. It's like literally twenty to get you yeah, sort you of right to. Okay, her. that's fine. Well, then what I'll just do. That's um, a great spot to be. Yeah, that's where I go. I am going to. Um, this time with my maneuver, do my grapple. Okay, so third attack? Yep. Finder's Rock. Uh, yes, so that will hit again with a 23. Yes. Wonderful. And then uh, 14 points of damage, and she is now grappled by me. Um, and I used my action surge, so I cannot try to pickpocket her for this card, but I have her held down. I'm very strong. Okay. Uh, as you loom over her... I will say, I see you have white hair. <laughs> is your white hair as nice as mine? Maybe, but... I thought you'd be like, how do you actually keep it so white? Do like, you what? bleach it in the morning? Yeah. Sunday, yeah. or... Is that product I see? Yeah. She mutters a quick prayer beneath her breath. Reaches out with her hand. As a reaction? A legendary action. That's my angry noise. (laughs) Does a 25 hit you? Yes. Uh, that is a hit, and as she reaches out and touches you, you feel energy course around your body, and I need you to make a charisma save. Can she touch me with her hand when she is grappled by I'm holding her I mean, I mean yes. That, that, yeah. Have you ever hugged <laughs> anyone before? <laughs> I'm holding her. She needs to, is it just emanated through her skin? Grapple just stops I, movement speed. It doesn't... I was going to say, I mean, if you're holding her, even sure. if you're holding her like this, she can't... Not restrained. <laughs> like, you, your people are very flexible. Okay, she touches me. You have to make a charisma safe. Oh. I'm not great at that, but I'm going to try. Faith, 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 faith. Touch, touch, touch me. You do or do we're not. Do that. Do that. Try. Try. It always works. You have two dice? No. It was just for company. It was just for company. Oh, yeah, she got two dice. See? 
It's because he cursed mm-hmm. me back. <laughs> oh, my joke. Oh. It was just a joke. <laughs> that was pretty fun, yeah. <laughs> pretty good fun, man. Ah, yeah. And I was like, ha-ha, right? <laughs> I, don't, oh, yeah. I don't fail it in the worst way. I fail it in the second worst way I possible. I see. Uh, what we, it's your, your total is quite low, then, I would my imagine. My total is at three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You all watch as Elise vanishes from sight as you are plane shifted to the abyss. Oh, oh goodness. Sh- sh- sh-